What's up everyone? This is Rakesh here once again. Welcome to the session of Oracle SQL. So guys, in our last session, what we have discussed, we have discussed the synonym. Now, what exactly we are going to discuss in this session? So in this session, we are going to discuss the sequence. Yes, that is a topic which we are going to discuss in this session. So let's begin. So guys, what is sequence? Sequence is nothing but whenever you want to generate the auto number and that number should be unique. Then what do you need to do? You need to use the sequence. Now let's understand this with the help of one example. So let's say for example, if you have one table called so this one. Okay. Now over here you can see there is one column employee ID. Now over here you have one requirement saying that boss, whenever I insert any uh, row into this uh, uh, table, then please fill the auto number into the employee ID. Then how you can achieve? You can achieve with the help of sequence. And for that, what you need to do? You need to create the sequence. And whenever you insert any row into the this table, then what you need to do? You need to use that sequence in order to generate the or in order to populate the auto number into the employee underscore ID column. Okay. So this is nothing but your sequence. And this is how you can generate the uh, sequence in the employee underscore ID. Now over here, let's understand one by one, step by step, how exactly you can do the same. So guys, if you want to create the sequence, then what you need to do? You need to follow this syntax. Over here, you can see the very first line is nothing but your create sequence and sequence name. You have to give the sequence name. Okay. Next line is nothing but your mean value. Mean value is nothing but your minimum value. Next line is nothing but your max value. Max value is nothing but your maximum value of a sequence. Okay. Next line is nothing but your start with like from where you want to start okay next line is nothing but your increment by by what number you want to increment the sequence okay and next line is nothing but your cash value means what cash value you want to give so this is the syntax you have to follow and this is what you need to do in order to create the sequence okay now there must be one question going in your mind saying that boss i have understood how exactly we can create the sequence but can you tell me how exactly we can use it so let's understand that too so in order to use the sequence you need to use two variable which is nothing but your this one and this one okay the next value and curve value next value is nothing but it is used to get the next value of an a sequence and curve value is nothing but your it will give the current value of an a sequence okay now this is how you can use it now how exactly you can fit or how exactly you can use so what you need to do you need to give the sequence name and the whatever the variable you want to use whether you want to use the current value or whether you want to use the next value so that variable you have to use now let's understand this with the help of one example so we have seen one table in our discussion correct employee underscore id column we want to fill the numbers auto generated number we want to fill in this column so how you can use or how you can fill this information you can fill like this so whenever this statement will be triggered so what it will do it will generate the auto number for the my employee underscore id column okay and it will insert that uh, value into the employee underscore id column now over here i have used the sequence and the next value correct so what it will do whenever i trigger this insert statement it will generate the next 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 value okay so this is how you can use and guys this sequence you can use in the selected statement as well in the update is wherever you want to use you can use it okay so this is nothing but your sequence and this is how you can use the sequence so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the sequence is now let me summarize sequence is nothing but it is used to create the auto generated number and that number will be the unique okay and this can be used with the help of two variable this one and this one next well and curve well and how you can use sequence you can use sequence like this 
sequence name and the variable what variable you want to use okay so this is nothing but your sequence now let's go for the practical in that you will understand sequence in detail let's see the practical part of the sequence as you can see on the screen this is the piece of code i have written in order to create the sequence so let's understand this piece of code one by one okay so as you can see on the your screen i have written first line as a create sequence and then sequence name okay over here this is nothing but your syntax part create sequence and this is nothing but your sequence name this is nothing but your mean value what is the minimum value of this sequence and this is nothing but your maximum value of this sequence what is the maximum value of this sequence can hold okay and this is nothing but your by what number it should start okay or i can say that by what number sequence should start and this is nothing but your increment by by what number the uh, sequence should increment okay over here i have mentioned two means the sequence will increment every time by two number okay and and it start with the one and up to this number it can have the maximum value and the minimum value can be one so this is all about the sequence and this is nothing but your cache so guys i hope you have understood what exactly this piece of code is now let's create the sequence so let me run this query and let me create over here so this sequence is already exists so what i need to do i need to drop first this sequence so let me drop over here this sequence so let me write over here this statement so sequence got dropped now let me remove this statement and let me execute once again so what i need to do i need to once again need to run so as you can see over here sequence got created so now i can use this sequence so in order to use this sequence as we have discussed we need to use two variables what that two variables the next value and the curve value next value will give the next value of this sequence and curve value will give the current value of this sequence and how you can use the sequence as we have discussed we have to go give the first sequence name and then variable name so over here first time i need to use the next well variable because we have to generate or we have to start this sequence so in order to start we have to use this variable so as you can see over here i have used the next well and the minimum value is one so over here you can see minimum value i have defined as a one and start with the one so that is also over here true and i am giving over here true and now i will give the proof of this increment by two means what exactly it means so let me once again run so each time when we run or whenever this statement will get execute then it will increment or it will give the next value okay so over here you can see earlier this value was one now it incremented with the three means whenever this statement will get execute in any sql statement it will increment the value by what will you this value okay so this is nothing but your sequence and this is how the sequence will generate sequence is nothing but it's a auto number which will generate whenever this statement will be get executed and this statement can be executed within the select clause or i can say that in the insert query also so this is also how you can use it so this is the one another example of the sequence so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the sequence is and how exactly you can use the sequence now over here what it will do it will insert the whatever the number of the sequence every time it will generate new new value and it will insert into the employee underscore id column of the employee table okay so this is how you can use now let me use over here curve value so what it will give it will give the current value and next value will give the next next value okay so over here you can see it is giving the current value n number time i can execute it won't increment because it will give the current value so 
this is all about the next value and the curve value and how you can use the sequence so guys i hope you have understood what exactly the sequence is now let's go for the assignment in that you will get the practice questions And guys, if you like the video, then please don't forget to share this video in any of the Facebook relevant group. Okay, thank you so much for watching for the video. Bye, take care.